has that wanted to lose weight at some point or another. So up first, we have the story of a D.C. woman who cut her body weight in half. And finally, dropping from 303 pounds all the way down to 149 pounds from Washington, D.C. Give it up for Caroline Gingerly. My weight loss story is that I was 300 pounds in the eighth grade on a 5'2 frame. So I spent a good amount of my life being the fat kid, the ugly kid, the grimace kid, or the hey, 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 fat Albert kid. I was pretty much teased in every segment of my life. If it was in the classroom, it was in my community at home, or my Caribbean relatives often reminded me, you know, why are you so fat? And, you know, at nine years old, I was hearing things like, how do you expect to find a husband being so fat? So the majority of my life was uh, spent that way, taunted and teased throughout high school. I remained in the 300s in terms of my weight. And it really wasn't until I went to see a dermatologist towards the end of high school, right before I was about to go to college, that told me these dark blotches on my skin were an indication that I was pre-diabetic. Caroline, come on out. All right, Caroline, come join the Joy Fit Club. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. okay, where are you going, where Caroline, girl? <laughs> Congratulations on the weight loss. How did you do this? What I did is I started walking. I started walking. Instead of catching the bus or using the subway, I started to walk. And I also cut sugar completely out of my diet. But what were your workouts like? My workouts when I started out, I really tell people that I started the poor man's diet because I didn't join a gym, I didn't pay for an expensive personal trainer, I just started walking instead of catching the metro in DC when I was home for the summers. I decided to write half my size, how I ate to lose 150 pounds because people are constantly asking me, what did you eat? What did you do to lose weight? Even when I go to visit my OBGYN, uh, she's asking me, you know, what do you eat for breakfast? What do you eat for lunch? People are constantly asking me for weight loss tips. So I decided to put it all in a book. What people can take from half my size is that, again, these aren't gimmicks. These are long-term strategies that you can adapt to your everyday life. Half my size isn't just for black women, uh, women, or just any certain age group at all. There are men that are reading the book right now and telling me that they've applied those strategies and that they've already lost five pounds within two weeks of reading the book. I'm confident that my book provides people with real life everyday tips and strategies on how to lose weight and keep it off. That includes affordable exercise classes, ways to find healthy eating in even every grocery store. I provide tips that you can use in your real life and use for the rest of your life. <laughs>